Today I want to dig a little bit deeper and talk about a couple of other categories of fictions. So one big category is what I call the fictions of animal identity. The second one is what I call the fictions of ritualized consumption. In other words, how do we create a ritual, a ceremony, a social experience out of consuming animals? Now denigration is the use of animal words to insult. So we're either insulting other human beings or we're insulting the animal, the other species, other animals themselves. So when we call someone a fat cow or um, we call someone vermin or uh, a dirty rat or a filthy pig, all of these derogatory terms uh, intended to insult uh, have their origin in certain species of animals that we already look upon uh, with very little respect or even disdain. So today, uh, an example of denigration that I want to talk about is has to do with the chicken and the reputation of chickens in our culture. If we look at the Merriam-Webster dictionary, uh, there is a definition of chicken, which is, quote, a person who is afraid, end quote. So the idea of the chicken being a coward in our culture is so deeply ingrained, it's actually a definition in the Merriam-Webster dictionary. So why is this a fiction? Well, first of all, mainly because chickens are far from cowardly. Chickens are incredibly brave birds and can often show incredible bravery in their behavior and altruism. Uh, mother hens have been known to protect their young um, and to even put their own lives on the line in order to protect their young. Um, dominant females in a flock will often be very protective of the entire flock uh, to protect them from predators. So for example, if, if that alpha female detects a predator in the midst, she may do something to, to make herself a decoy, make a lot of loud noises and go into a place that is very easy for the predator to see, to distract the predator's attention